Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and attempt to be painting with these guitar picks. I bought them from my local music store for about 50p each and I bought a variety of different shapes and sizes. Some of them have a fine point at the end and some of them are rounded and are slightly bigger. I thought this would be a fun experiment. So let's get on with it. So I started off by sketching out the design onto a small piece of canvas board. I decided to paint the background first with the largest of the guitar picks. I didn't want to have a very detailed background because I knew the piece would come out quite textured and I didn't want to distract from the tiger. I also used some cheap acrylic paints from WH Smith because I didn't know how the piece would turn out and I didn't want to waste expensive supplies. To begin with I forgot to put something underneath the canvas board but after I got the paint on the table, which thankfully came off, I put a scrap piece of paper underneath. So always remember to put something underneath your acrylic painting. So for the tiger, I built him up in various layers. For the first layer, I used one of the rounded picks. I found this very difficult as I had to mix the orange tones because the paint set didn't have any orange tones. And this was quite difficult with these guitar picks. So I often ended up mixing it on the canvas itself rather than on the palette. So due to the way I was applying the paint with these guitar picks, there came a point where there was too much paint on the canvas and the colours became a little bit muddy, so I waited for it to dry before adding more layers. This was problematic however, as the surface was extremely textured, so it made the details hard to do. So for these details I used the small black pick because it had a pointed end, so I thought this would be easier for the stripes and the details such as the eye. In reality though, this wasn't the case because it was difficult to judge how much paint would actually go on to the end. Sometimes there was quite a big blob and sometimes there was hardly any at all. And this was quite frustrating. So how would I evaluate this experience of painting with guitar picks? Well, to be honest, it was very difficult and actually more difficult than I was expecting. I tried painting with oboe reeds and if you're interested in seeing how that turned out, I'll leave a link to that video at the end and in the description below. So when I tried painting with these oboe reeds, it was actually much easier than painting with these guitar picks and I think the piece turned out better, but that's just my opinion. I think that I was a bit too ambitious with the detail on this one, whereas the oboe one I painted a much more kind of simpler animal, whereas this tiger has a lot more details. But yeah, it was fun and it was interesting and it's always good to try new ways of painting because we can get a bit bored with the plain old brush sometimes. And I thought that I could maybe make a mini series about painting with musical things. So we already have oboe reeds, now we have guitar picks and I was thinking maybe next time I could try clarinet or saxophone reeds. And if you have any ideas of musical items I can use to paint with, please comment in the comment section down below. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Katie, I upload art videos every Thursday and the occasional bonus video on a Sunday, so please feel free to subscribe for more art videos and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on the bonus videos. And if you like this video, you know, emotionally, please use the like button as that really helps me out. So here is a comparison of how the guitar picks looked after several layers of paint. And I actually quite like how they look at the end, so I'm going to keep them like this, I'm not going to clean them. And I also quite like how the piece turned out, it's very textured. Although I know that I could probably do better with actual paint brushes, but I still like it. So that's all for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye for now!